Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk to you about two excellent websites for web development. Um, the first website that I'm going to talk to you is called Fireship. I discovered them because I was watching uh, progressive web apps features and then this video was recommended to me and it was super stunning. I was uh, like the video quality is so, is so, so good. Um, the speaker, Jeff, is super succinct when he explains things and the, um, uh, the snippets of cuts, the, um, the examples, are just to the point, like super simple how you can start with each of these features. Like super super simple, and I was so astonished about the quality of the video that I decided to kind of dissect it and see what was the secret sauce of the video. And the first thing will be the examples and the resources. Like the um, the examples are um, so succinct, so simple. Uh, it it makes it feel simple with the examples but I know that behind that there is a lot of work and the video, the animations, the images, um, the uh, how he also presents resources about how you can go in depth about the features that he's presenting in that moment is just perfect he really nailed that all the transitions is just everything is perfectly timed i really love that and there's also the second thing that will be he doesn't type he doesn't type anything in the examples the examples just appear line by line which help you to they like, kind of your your eyes can follow the examples you know um, you can see, okay, I have to do this line first, this line second, this line third, but you don't see the typing, you don't wait for that time, so the fluidity of uh, Jeff while he's explaining is just, you know, it's just so fast, he can deliver so much information in such, in such an assured time, it's, it's really, really amazing. Um, I think that if I make more uh, like coding tutorials, like uh, videos, I will take that with me. I don't want to lose time typing if I'm explaining something like really concrete. Like for example, if I make videos for like Instagram, like Reels, or you want to make a TikTok, like hell nobody wants to see you typing i just want to see the thing like bam boom bam is that ready yeah um he didn't have any pause he had a great excuse he really had like it wasn't rushed the video like you don't see him like, like you know trying to tell you something he's just really speaking like with a great tone but he doesn't take any pauses like he, everything is one thing after the other you don't see cuts anywhere i'm not saying they actually in the video editing he's cutting something but it's definitely you cannot see it or you cannot hear it he's just talking very fluidly and lines just are appearing the transitions are perfect on time so he's just telling you one story but it's a whole video about seven different stories and it's just super smooth, super, super smooth. And he doesn't make any mistakes while he's speaking. So that's like admirable. Like that's like a super huge uh, thing to accomplish. You just see me talking, I'm new of course, but I make a lot of mistakes or I speak slow. Um, things like that, and he, this guy speaks just fluidly, no errors, and I know that's not human either. He probably had to um, like re make a lot of rehearsals, uh, make a lot of retakes to that, so the value added to the video uh, when somebody is not like stuttering when he's speaking is huge really is something valuable and the 
video, um, the, the channel, is actually giving uh, context to this guy actual pay page where he has courses um, he has these blogs like like you see this blog that I wrote right like this article and I make I talk about the articles that I already wrote and he does the same but like a hundred levels on top right if you see his content he talks about um, progressive web apps he talks about react about firebase about docker about now about cloud platforms and stuff and it's just fascinating i'm going to i'm not going to show you the youtube video uh, but, but i'm going to put it down here somewhere uh, <laughs> I do my really little it, uh, but I'm going to take you to the website or uh, to Fireship. And uh, here it is it has the video which has an amazing quality and it takes so much of the page, like it's not a second thought. And he also has all the examples in here, which I'm also like astonished about how succinct they are. It's just like this is all you need and is presented in a very minimalistic way. You want to know more, you want to go in depth and you go ahead and watch the video or you go to like any of these references and you find, dude, you have so much to read if you actually are interested in any of these things. So, and this guy is not duplicating content, you know, he's giving you probably his source like who are the guys who actually know what what is this and he has uh, these uh, video lessons is how he called them like blogs with videos attached to them and he has discourses about for example uh, joining, I mean, uh, doing um, Stripe payments with JavaScript, um, Vue, Firebase, Angular, Flutter, more JavaScript, more Node, uh, more Firebase in, the, in its own right, uh, Cloud Functions, Ionic, that's super nice. And some of them are free and paid. You see, like for example, check it this out. It has a lot, a bunch of lessons that are free. Oh, see, this is this one is 100% free. But I I saw this that are paid. This, for example, is free, 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 and these other ones are not free. And I'm assuming it's pay, but maybe it isn't. I know he has like this pro stuff. You see, okay, some of these things are pay and you have access to pro courses. Then maybe some of the courses you can access them only if you're logging. Like, not like some content is free, some content is um, behind logging, and some other content is behind the pro feature. So that's really nice. I, I, I was really glad this resource existed. And the example he gave were uh, are about um, this page, right? Web dev. And I investigated a bit about it. And is from the team behind Google Chrome, like the dev team, that I put effort to to make a site dedicated to best practices and the ability to monitor your website to ensure that it's always like fast, resilient, and accessible. So it's like in one side is the actual testing, like hey, how do it test that your site is actually doing the 
best it can like it's following the best practices and on the other side they are giving you a bunch of information so you are informed on what are the best practices how things are used um, etc so uh, it, it, as I said the size divided in two sides one is learning and one is measuring so in the learning side they have um, the their content is very, uh, yeah, like structure. It, it has uh, uh, four main categories, right? And behind those categories, you can read them one after the other. But they have a lot of reference to like concepts that stand on their own that are not like they cannot be highlighted like a root concept like something that um, like for example um, like a low level a API that another API uses then it's not going to be like a top level thing for example those APIs from um, PWBOS are not like the main thing. The main thing is progressive web apps and that's a topic by themselves. Like for building excellent websites, in the topic of building excellent websites, they have um, knowledge about coding edge tech. Like it's not about all web things, but it's just like, hey, this is what is, um, in the edge of things this, this is the new this is what is getting work on and they highlight it but somehow i compare it to the mdn like the mozilla developer network where i usually get my examples from and you can say things like hey what is uh, array prototype push what is array prototype apply and you go there and you see okay this is the description this is the signature of the function these are some examples and stuff but the um, the uh, web dev page of more in-depth examples on these cutting edge uh, uh, technologies and they go I think a step beyond what Mozilla has done and now the Mozilla is closing that program that is documenting the web uh, it's great to know there is an alternative and that is coming from the actual Google Chrome team. It's a, like, a, for me, it's a huge thing. I don't know about you. And the second part is the measuring. So the measuring is pretty nice because it measures performance, best practices, uh, CEO, uh, accessibility. And it's very simple. You give the uh, URL, for example, I tested on Medium, and it tells you, hey, what is, how's the performance, how's the accessibility, the best practices, the CEO, uh, SEO. <laughs> I've been telling this as uh, uh, if I were talking about a CEO, <laughs> it's a SEO. So, for example, in Medium, I think it has a very good. Uh, level of um, I mean score a very good score and the performance is a little bit less low for like the uh, total blocking time the first time the page loads and stuff like that but he's doing logging and a bunch of analytics so yeah it's expected and the accessibility, the best practice, and the SEO, which is the big deal about behind Medium, um, is 96%, which is um, pretty cool. And you can see these points here, and you can click them and see uh, what will you mean, right? Like, how can I improve that on my website? And behind that, it uses a technology that is called Lighthouse. And they also, in the learning side, they can teach you about Lighthouse. How to use it better, how to optimize um, better for that tool to give you 
a better score which is nice because it's the Google Chrome team so it means that the page is going to look better on Google Chrome and I will assume wink wink that is going to rank better on the Google search so it's coming from the guys behind the actual thing so I will trust that um, well that's it um, I put all the reference here if you can see this article you can see it right here down below if you want to support me in any way go ahead destroy the like button or the unlike button if you say like this video is shit then you destroy that unlike button and you type oh, this video is shit and if you think this video is okay or you like it you go ahead and you type it I hope you get better with time <laughs> because people who don't like stuff are very vocal and when we like stuff we are very quiet so make a positive change and comment if you like something if you if you find any of this website interesting i will link the link of this article in the description and you can check um, all these links that i put right here so see you in the next one bye bye